Hello, everybody. Today, FeedbackTheMagazine.com is extremely honored to have on the phone line the director of 22 Years, Fred Thomas. How you doing today, Fred? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm, I'm blessed. I'm living a dream. How did you uh, get the opportunity to become the director of the film? Um, well, Dawn and I, we have a mutual friend um, from Atlanta named Anissa. She's an actress, and uh, she went to school with, with Dawn, and, and I knew her. From um, from Temple and some other friends, and uh, Dawn and I, we, it's, it's funny. Me and Dawn are both from South Philly, but we never met until we got out here, and that was through Anissa. And um, she knew Dawn uh, was trying to, you know, uh, work and and, and uh, collaborate with somebody from Philly at some point, and she knew I was trying to do the same. So she put us together. Dawn and I met, sat down, had coffee. Dawn pitched me her um, her story. Uh, and I was like, yo, this sounds something like, you know, I want to do. And uh, so let's, hey, let's make it a Philly collaboration. And that's how it happened. Now, what was it like personally working with Dawn? It, it was amazing. Um, you know, she's a, uh, she's a go-getter. You know, she assembled the whole team. You know, as producer, she called up friends and, and, uh, um, all her, and, and, and put out, you know, submissions from ads and whatnot to, to put crew together. So, um, a lot of, a lot of the people in the film, we, you know, she knew what we knew, um, who are in the business, you know, that wanted to, you know, follow more, you know, donate food or whatnot. So, um, so yeah, so she had several teams. So she, she's a boss man and, and she knew her vision and she was able to come on, you know, the set and be producer and then it was time when it was time to be actress. She knew how to cut the producer part off and then go straight into you know character. So it, it, it was a wonderful experience, and it still has been being in all the festivals and and uh, you know she's she's just uh, she's an organizer, man. She she's a she's a fierce uh, she's a fierce beast, man. Now, do you think by you guys growing up in the East Coast uh, from Philly has helped you uh, your grind grind you guys is grind harder in your respective careers? Oh, totally, totally, totally. Um, you know, because back east, it's, it's about that hustle, you know, coming from Philly. It's about, you know, um, just getting up in the morning, making it happen. You know, Philly's a, you know, a, a, a blue collar, you know, hardworking people of the city. And so, um, yeah, we just brought that mentality out there because, it, I mean, out here, because I'm still in L.A. <laughs> okay, yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, so... You know, nothing out here, that you, you, people think they, they see all the money and they, they see all the goods and glamour and they think that things are kind of given to you. But now you have to come out here with just a strong work, work ethic and um, make it happen for yourself. You just can't wait for things to happen. And definitely growing up, you know, back in the city, um, it, it helped a lot, you know, definitely. Who makes the final de decision on which film festival to submit a particular film like a film the film 22 years like do you and dawn sit down as producer director to decide which festival like the toronto or the sundance or the philly or charlotte do you guys sit down collectively and figure out which festival will be best suited for a particular film yeah that's that's how it kind of started i mean we knew we wanted to get into festivals um so we sat down and kind of looked at a bunch of them um Dawn just kind of just surfed you know the web um uh, i think one site is called without a box uh dot com and um uh, uh film freeway so we started just to see seeing where the film could fit it's a very diverse film um, because of the cast and the crew, especially when it came to, you know, different things like uh, uh, films that cater to uh, ethnicities and, and things of that nature. Um, so, yeah, it was just the process of doing the research for it and just, just finding out where it fit um, and where it didn't. All right, Mr. Thomas, I want to thank you for taking time out to uh, talk to FeedbackTheMagazine.com. I really want to congratulate you uh, guys on your uh, hard work and success. And I, again, I want to thank you again for taking time out to uh, talk to feedback today. I appreciate that. Thank you. And, yo, I've been looking at the, the magazine, and, and you got a great thing going on, and it keeps striving and building. Um, yeah, you got an amazing thing going on. So much success to you. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Sir. I really appreciate it.